Welcome back to another WWE2K23 modding tutorial, and today I'm going to show you guys 13. Yes, 13. Not 15, not 10, not 20, but 13 mods you need to upgrade your WWE2K23 to be a little more up to date. We got Becky Lynch 2023 by Dr. Red. We got Seth Rollins 2023 by Dr. Red. We've got Rhea Ripley from Backlash this year by Jeebus Crisp. We've got Asuka by Joe Mashups. Isla Dawn by Joe Mashups. We got this Hill 2023 version of Baron Breaker by the Mayor of Awesome Town. And we've got Solo Sokoa from Night of Champions this year by DWeb199. Moving on to championships, we've got the Women's Undisputed Championship once again by Jeebus Crisp. Moving on to graphics, we got Isla Dawn's graphics by The Only TME, as well as Alba Fire and Isla Dawn's graphics by The Only TME. We've got Kevin Owens' updated Titan Tron by Pat Scon. We got Becky Lynch's current The Man graphics by Zaha. And we've got a whole bunch of updated and old themes you can download from the WWE Audio Compendium. Com com compendium, yes, by Blackheart. So I want you guys to go ahead and download each and every single one of these amazing mods from PWM. Put them wherever you want, extract them, get them ready, and I'm going to show you guys how to install them. You can skip the audio compendium for now. We'll come back to that in just a bit. I've got everything downloaded in this folder here, and I went ahead and organized them just a little bit. We've got our characters, our graphics, and our championships. Let's hop into the characters folder here. Just extract each and every one of these to their own separate folder. All right, let's go ahead and delete these original zip files. Let's go ahead and open up our 2K23 directory in a new window. To do that, we're going to go to Steam, Library, scroll down to WWE 2K23, right click, Manage, Browse Local Files. All right, we go into our Mods folder, go to our Characters folder. We're going to go into each and every one of these folders and just place all those files right to our Characters folder, just like this. Open up a Braun Breaker folder, drag and drop him. Just like that. Solo Sokoa, same thing. Asuka, same thing. Becky Lynch, go to the characters folder. Copy her over. Isla Dawn. Now, Isla Dawn is going to replace Zoe Stark. If you don't want to replace Zoe Stark, find a superstar that you do want to replace and just rename all the files to match that superstar you want to replace. Right now, we're just going to replace Zoe Stark. Copy her over. Rhea Ripley. Copy her over. And Seth Rollins. Go ahead and copy him over. Now, that's all of our character mods ready to be baked into the game. Now, we're adding Isla Dawn to the game, but she doesn't have graphics. So, we downloaded her graphics pack. So, go to your graphics folder. We're going to extract all these graphics here. Extract them to their own separate folder. Now this one right here, this ENT file, this is just Kevin Owens Titantron. I'll show you how to get that installed in just a minute. So we want to install Isla Dawn's graphics. We're going to overwrite Zoe Stark's. Let's see. Hers is currently set to overwrite the British Bulldog. I don't want to overwrite him because I'm already using his graphics slot for my own custom character's graphics. So what we're going to do... We're going to go to this graphics injector tool that we've used before, open it up, we're going to select our baked folder or our mods folder, go to our 2K22 directory, open up your mods folder, select folder, select your SS files, click the three dots, let's go to where we downloaded the mods from, I put mine right here, I let down graphics. It says select your SS file. So you're going to open up your SS folder. That's going to be these three files right here. Select all three of those. Select your ENT file. Go back to movies. Titan Tron. Here we are. Now select character graphic slot that we want to replace. So we're going to go ahead and replace Zoe Stark. She's in here somewhere. Right here all the way at the bottom. Press inject, done. Now we've got this Alba Fire and Isla Dawn combined tag team graphics. So let's go ahead and get these in the game. Select our baked folder. Select our SS files. Now these are set to overwrite Alba Fire's graphics. 
If you don't want to overwrite Iblefire's graphics, this is what you can do. Same thing we just did. I'm gonna leave them to overwrite Iblefire's graphics, but I'm just gonna show you the process. It's the same thing for Tagtrons. Select our ENT file. And then you can choose whoever you wanna replace. If you don't wanna overwrite Iblefire's graphics with these Tagtrons, you don't have to. You can overwrite Aaliyah's. You can over overwrite Alpha Academy, whoever you want, just select them press inject I'm gonna leave it as Alba fire so I'm gonna just go back up and select Alba fire inject done now let's do the same thing for Becky Lynch put up a mods folder select folder select SS you get it I'm sure you get it by now I don't have to keep repeating it Now let's make sure we get Kevin Owens graphics in here. So go back to your 2K23 directory, go to mods, and movies folder, Titantron folder, and just drag and drop this file right here into your Titantron folder. There we go. Now all that's left to do is get the WWE Women's Undisputed Championship put into the game. So let's go ahead and extract this file. Open it up. And we're just going to drag both of these folders right here into our mod directory. Copy them over. Done. Now we're going to open up Cake Tools. Make sure you have the latest version of Cake Tools, version 103. You can find it on Patreon right now. In a couple of weeks, it should be available to the public. But for now, get it on Patreon. Go to File, Baker Folder, open up your Mods folder select folder and I always do 61 so just type in 61 and press OK let it do its thing as I always say if you have a lot of mods it's gonna take a while if you don't have that many mods it might be pretty quick I have 710 different files it has to take care of and bake so mine's gonna take just a minute but I'll see you guys once it's done all right directory bake successfully press OK always press OK or your mods will not load into the game and now that that's done, let's go back to our browser. Go to the WWE Audio Compendium. Press download. And we're gonna get Isla Dawn's theme and there's a lot of theme songs in here you can pick from. We're gonna go ahead and grab Isla Dawn's current theme. So we're gonna go to the current era folder. Look through all these themes. There's a whole lot of music in this folder, already converted to WIM, ready to go. So if you ever need a theme song, check out the WWE Audio Compendium. I'm sure it's got what you need, but for now we're looking for Isla Dawn. So you can go up here to the search bar, type in her name. Oops, gotta spell it right. Type in her name, and there she is right there, Isla Dawn, the depths. That's the one we want, that's our current theme. The standard download. There we have it right there. So now let's go ahead and open up Sound Editor. Once you got Sound Editor open, just go to File, Open, go to your 2K23 directory, open up your Sound folder, and if you want, you can just scroll down to Music Pack 8 and just replace one of the generic themes here, but I think I'm gonna find Zoe Stark's theme because if you remember, the graphics and the mod we're using, and the character mod rather that we're using, is gonna replace Zoe Stark anyway, so might as well replace her music while we're at it. And Zoe Stark is in Music Pack 3, so we're gonna click on her, right click, import, go to where you downloaded her theme from, right there, Isla Dawn the Depths, highlight it, click open, and now it's gonna import it. All right, now we can test it out. Right click, play. Sounds like it imported just fine. And now we're ready to play WWE 2K23 with all these brand new mods that we just installed and got updated. And here we are with the women's undisputed, oh, oh, there we go, women's undisputed championship. Looks great. I mean, it's a white title with a yellow middle. There's not a whole lot to say about it. It's going to look great on whoever you put it on, whoever you slap it on for your universe mode or exhibition mode or whatever you choose to use it for. It's just another step in getting your game closer to being up to date in 2023.
And here we are at Monday Night Raw, ready to check out these brand new mods you guys just installed with the updated 2023 version of Asuka. Asuka with her new face paint. Yet again, Joe Mashups kills it with his work on Asuka, getting her brand new face paint look into the game. And now here comes the man, Becky Lynch, with her The Man graphics, finally in 2K22 with her attire from Night of Champions, of course, inspired by Kill Bill. In my opinion, this model looks a lot better than the model she has in game because her character model suffers from the same thing that Liv Morgan's model did last year. It has that makeup on it that pretty much ruins any other custom attire you want to make for her. So by taking the makeup off, now you got this amazing Becky Lynch attire. And not far behind Becky Lynch is her man, Seth freaking Rollins, with this amazing attire and that brand new World Heavyweight Championship. I have a video on that. You can check out up here if you want to see it. And now the last standing member in the bloodline, Roman Reigns' cousin, the Usos' brother, Solo Sokoa, with his updated attire for 2023. And here comes Isla Dawn, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, at least at the time of recording this video. Looks amazing, of course, by Joe Mashups once again. Always kills it, always knocks it out of the park. As you can hear in the background, we got that music in there. We got the graphics, too. And now Rhea Ripley, mommy in her backlash attire, that white attire she wore at backlash, it says Dom Dom right on the back. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, her entrance in this game is probably the best one 2K did. I'm your mommy right on the back. And now we got Kevin Owens updated Titan Tron for this year. No new attire for him, but we got that updated Titan Tron for Kevin Owens. This is actually the first time I've seen KO in 2K23. He looks really good. I guess that tells you how much I play exhibition mode. He got that dog in him. It's Rick Steiner's baby boy, Braun Breaker, with his brand new 2023 Hill attire. I kind of wish I would have taken off the NXT Championship so you can see it a bit better. Meaner than evil right on the back of this 2023 attire.
And of course, I couldn't forget the tag team graphics and entrance for Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. I just threw them in the Ascension entrance because I didn't really know what else would fit them. But I think it does pretty well. There you go right there. In my opinion, the two ladies who should be walking away with the Unified Women's Championships this Friday at SmackDown. Again, this is being filmed on like a uh, Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. before SmackDown. So I don't know when this is going up. It might have happened by now. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed, and I hope all the mods you have installed work just fine. If they don't, find me on Twitter, at BradMartinYT, and we'll talk about it. We'll see if we can work it for you. Reach out, uh, message me. If I don't respond immediately, don't worry. I will get back to you as soon as possible. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.